hundred years ago, there was almost no knowledge about fitness. So how did people work out and what equipment did they use to become fit? This is footage from almost a hundred years ago, 1934. Oh, I'm so interested to see. Chain hold 800 pound pressure. He breaks it with his chest. Okay, he locks it. Yes. No way. No way. What? This is basically strongman back in the days, right? It's just a circus act. Was this the first form of fitness ever? I think as a dedicated sport, yes it was. Before that people did sort of strength training, but it was not real training. It was just building castles or houses. Because it was their job. Yes. I, I think already 2000 BC, people definitely did like push-ups and stuff like that. The, the gladiators. The, yes, they trained. They actually had dumbbells. The ancient Greek dumbbells. They, they used this to lift weights. As far back as 700 BC. Wow. So exercise obviously exists for hundreds of years, thousands of years. Yes. But when did this really become fitness as we know today? This happened in the past 100 years. The neck plank. This is already like really tough. We've done this. That's it, that's it. There you go. Does it count? <gasps> yes. Yeah. Her, I think he's cheating on me. Him. <laughs> <laughs> This guy definitely trains. I wouldn't necessarily call it fitness as we know it today, <laughs> but let's see how it evolves. Physical fitness, 1936. They, they call it fitness. They call it fitness. I'm impressed with the need for more comprehensive effort to improve the physical condition of the nation. Watch a demonstration by Battersea schoolboys of what can be done. So they're basically wanting to have a strong nation. Nation in general, which probably has to do with the army. Also young men. Yes. So back in the day, obviously, it was just men in the army. It's rumored that the government will eventually extend this form of training to every school in the country. So like really functional fitness. Oh, oh, flips. It's gymnastics. Like this is very useful stuff. I wouldn't mind if my school gym class turned us all into gymnasts. Nah. Yeah. Actually, interestingly enough, researchers say 100 years ago, people got five times more exercise every day just in the course of daily living. Because they had, had to do so much more work manually. 1937. This is definitely sort of fitness, but not fitness how we know it today. Oh, just moving. Hey, girls. So it's, it's an entire school. It's so it's, school. The, it's the nation in general. Yeah. Imagine how insane our athletics would be if we still did stuff like this. People are missing this, kind of. So again, if people would be doing this, we would not call it fitness today. We would call it probably uh, athletics. Yes. This would have been beneficial for so many young teens. There are so many young men, me included, that struggled to be social and to create new friends. Oh, the social aspect. Wow. I mean, That's... doing this with just a group of you, you will build. You will build a great relationship, yeah. But this is still pretty far from what we know today as fitness. And it's only 70 years ago? Yeah. New Zealand Strongman, 1940. He has a pretty good physique. He's, he's looking a bit bigger. Yes, especially his legs. He's a strong guy. Oh, he's very, very strong. This is definitely fitness. This is fitness. We know that weights exist now, like properly. It's evolving fast. Although the knowledge about fitness Exactly, so how are they becoming big? We're now in 1954. Girl weightlifters. At a Paddington London gymnasium, we pay a visit to the weaker sex. The weaker sex, bro, went straight to the point. Wow. Uh, I mean, it's, uh, it's the 50s, guys. 23-year-old um... Clark is one of hundreds of health and strength league girls who get themselves, and more important, their figures in trim. This is just a straight up bench press. So in 1954, are we having the same equipment as we have now? Like the basics? I think so. Uh, these are dumbbells. This exercise is for the calves. A difficult muscle to mold. Calf raises? Wow. Wait, in 1954, they were also already wasting time. <laughs> yes. Looking good, looking yeah, like a gym. Machines are still usable today. This machine, I could use this machine. I, I would never use this machine, but <laughs> I could use this machine. Leg press? Is this a leg press? It is. It is a leg press. Wow. It looks a bit uncomfortable, but the basics. Imagine the gym fails right now. If, if people would load this with thousands of pounds, then they would just get squashed. Now you're getting the hang of it. He's doing behind the neck pull. -ups. So these are still done by people in the gym today. You know, I wonder, what reps are they doing? What sets? What, like, do they structure it in a way? We got color video. 1956. Dumbbell pullovers. Nice. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Naturally, the gym is run for men too, and many film and stage stars like Canadian actor Lee Patterson get their muscles here. Yo, where do you get your muscles? I'm going uh, to Jill's gym. Jill's gym. <laughs> Includes in his schedule sets of deep knee bends. 
squats. A top exercise for legs. Deep, deep knee bends. Squats. Yes. This really makes one appreciate the amount of studying we've put into human health. Mainly because this is quite advanced at the time. To us right now, it looks kind of like we know better. Yes. Or maybe they are deep knee bends. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, that guy in the back. These are muscular guys. Muscular, beefy guys. The guy in the blue trunks has the perfect physique. The guy in the blue trunks. The guy trunks. in the blue trunks. This is my granddad. My great, great, great granddad. High school fitness, 1962. This is parkour. Uh, this is, this is ninja obstacle warrior. course. Obstacle course. Yes, this is ninja warrior. This is tough. This is hard. This is really hard. We need to bring this level of physical education back into our schools. 36,000 likes. It's the most like comment we've seen. Wow. Any of the physiques, look at them. They're all the same. Lean, muscular. As an obese teenager trying to get fit, I wish my schools did this. I wholeheartedly support this for the benefit of everyone. Getting raised in a society where being obese is so easy with all the foods and just sitting the entire day, this is actually not a bad thing to sort of yeah. make us move more. Oh, back is it board. Yes. It looks like a pack. That is wow, a pack board. That is, that's not easy. And all these guys are doing it. They're all yes. this fitness level. Uh, right now, if you ask someone, do the pack boards, not a lot of people can do it. This is high school. Look it, at all the guys. Look at how they look like. This is not what high school looks like nowadays. Italian physical training championships? 1962. Oh. Oh. This is just straight up bodybuilding. Yeah, yeah. Kind of? Still sh also wait. Part of the show is showing your strength. Well, actually, there was a thing with bodybuilding in the early days. We saw that in our previous reaction videos, where being able to perform was part of the act. Are they not just pumping up? There's really like there's people looking at. This is a combination of powerlifting and bodybuilding. 1962, people are getting really fit, big, and muscular. We're getting into the silver and gold era, right? Yes, so becoming big and strong, we can do now. You too can lift weights, 1965. The sport at which even strong men can turn pale if they overdo it, flourishes all over the continent, where international stars show what mighty muscle can achieve. This would be the start of Olympic lifting then, because strongman was already a thing. Yes, because he yes, says, yes, exactly. So this is a sport even strongmen can find difficult. More training. Oh. And oh. here it is in Budapest. It's still as dangerous as it is today. Oh, the grip roller. That's wow. a good setup. I want that setup. Huh? What? This is a bodyweight leg extension? Yes. Oh. 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 No, wait. It's a weird exercise. It was everything at once. Can yeah, this is, try. this is Olympic lifting. Boom. That's heavy. That's really heavy. Are those sound effects? I believe so. Sound effects from 1965, everybody. <laughs> Mr. Universe Contest, 1969. There were professional muscle men and amateur muscle men, tall men and short men, each and every one looking like the ancient Greek idea of a god. So bodybuilding blew up like crazy. Oh yeah. So more studies were done to actually see what is the most effective, what can we do? And this is also probably how we learned a lot about health. Yes. And fitness. But if you look at the physiques, the, these are just physiques that are just really, really good. They know how to train. We've seen it evolve and become more popular. And this is the point where it really kind of became fitness how we know it today. What would be the future of fitness? We're coming from a period where exercise was mandatory because of it was it was work. So yeah, it was physical, and then resting was the nice thing. Now, everything is automated. Everything is online, and now resting is becoming a problem. And now exercise is a is an outlet, and people are happy when they do it. So let's see what the future holds. Also, because we're still experimenting with our bodies, because this guy was training light with one arm and heavy with the other, and saw what happened to his body. So if you want to check that out, make sure to subscribe to his link and hit that bell. This was way easier now with the new studio. It's really easy to push you away now. Yes. Just click this.